Hello my dear friends and welcome back to another video. So Andor season 1 has come to an end. If you're anything like me, you've been re-watching episode 12 Rick's Road quite a few times over the last 24 hours. Episode 12, in my opinion, was an amazing conclusion to the season, and that post credit scene has certainly got a lot of Star Wars fans really excited for season 2 in 2024. Doesn't that sound absolutely ages away? But before then, of course, we have some amazing Star Wars content in 2023. Next up on Disney+, Plus, we have The Bad Batch Season 2 in 40 days' time, then we have Mando Season 3 in February, but the final trailer for Mando next month. Then there's the Ahsoka series, Skeleton Crew, and let's not forget Vision Season 2, if that's your cup of tea. I am keeping my fingers crossed that Studio Ghibli are involved in some kind of way, and maybe we'll get a full-length Grogu or Mando-centric episode of high-quality anime. But nonetheless, my dear Meglorians, Andor has left its mark on the franchise, with many calling it the best live-action Star Wars show. In light of this, and although it does seem a bit early, over the last few hours, tons of information for Season 2 has dropped. Collider, reliable as always, are the ones who exclusively unveiled three articles. We have details about K2SO, how film is going here in the UK, what well, they've already filmed in the last week, the first scene, and what to expect. If you think back to a couple of weeks ago, they told us that Yavin 4 is going to be a focal part of the upcoming season, and now there's more, so let's dive straight into it. We begin with the article titled, Tony Gilroy reveals the first thing they filmed for Andor Season 2. Now that the final credits have rolled on the first season of Tony Gilroy's incomparable Star Wars series, anticipation has already begun to mount for Season 2, and we can exclusively reveal, and this this is Collider Talking, who was on set filming on Monday, the very first shot of episode 13. Earlier this month, we shared that filming was set to begin this week, with production set to stretch into late summer, and during an interview with Collider's own Steve Weintraub, Gilroy revealed that Carl Sola as Cyril Khan is the first one on camera this week. Gilroy didn't reveal any details, opting instead to simply share, quote, I'll just say we're shooting Cyril Khan first, Kyle is the first. But I should say, just because it's the first scene they filmed, doesn't mean it's going to be the first actual scene of the season, just putting that out there. In the finale, Cyril Khan descended upon Ferex for Marva Andal's funeral, in hopes of catching Cassian and making him pay for what happened on Priox Molana. Of course, things descended into violent chaos as tensions flared between the residents of Ferex and the Imperial occupiers, leading to no one capturing Cassian as they planned, but what Cyril did end up doing is saving Dedra Miro, and the two seemed to be starting some kind of romantic relationship. As I said in my full episode breakdown, what started as a weird stalking kind of dynamic has somehow evolved into something weirder in episode 12, and Carl Solo did tease in the past that's going to be explored more in season 2, so with Cyril being the first person to be filmed, I suppose we're going to get our answers sooner in the season rather than later. I say sooner, but it's still in 2024. <laughs> And surely I'm not the only one who thought Dedra was about to be chewed alive by the Phyrexians. Phyrexians? Is that even a word? You know what I mean, Phyrex citizens. She was twatted, pulled, and thrown around like a ragdoll, and for a moment, I thought she was gonna die. But lo and behold, da -da 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 -da! everyone's favourite breakfast cereal enthusiast, Cyril, I mean Cyril, saved the day. In addition to revealing that Solo would be filming the first take of the season, Gilroy also revealed that when Andor returns, a decent chunk of time will have passed since the riots on Ferex. As we know, every three episode arc of season two is going to be a year, and that's going to be really exciting because it also incorporates other elements of the Star Wars universe. I know the show doesn't need it, but we can expect cameos and all of the fan service that we didn't get in season one. Season two has to include Mon Mothma starting the Rebel Alliance, so obviously people like Dodona, Bail Organa, maybe even Princess Leia and others could appear. Not to mention possible connections to Star Wars Rebels. We know in Rogue One they had an onset chopper who was an easter egg, but I'm sure they're going to do more with him in Andor Season 2. So what we as fans like to call the Gilroyverse, that is Andor Seasons 1 and 2, leading up to Rogue One, is about to get so exciting. And there are clues that we are getting some more characters, maybe some familiar ones, but new faces as well. He talks about Season 2 being more cinematic and on a bigger scale, obviously having Yavin 4 does that automatically, but I suspect they're really going big on this one. But of course, in addition to this, the characters we already know and love from Season 1 are almost certainly going to reappear. Vel, Sinter, Dedra, Bix, all of these characters are going to play a big part in Season 2, and maybe the upcoming season can finally tell us a bit more about Luthan. And don't forget, it's also a crucial time for Saw Gerrera, so much more for us Whitaker, who in my opinion was the star of the season whenever he showed up. Okay, so let's move on to K2SO. 
Tony Gilroy says including the droid into season 2 is one of the responsibilities of the season. Now the big question for comic book fans is are they going to wreck on the way Cassian meets K2 in the comics? I'm going to say probably. As we know, visual content always takes precedence and I don't imagine they're going to go the exact route of the comics. It might connect in the sense of being a vague adaptation or they could go in a completely new direction altogether. Who knows? The big takeaway from this article is that Tony is not afraid to say he has to show up in season 2. This is the quote, Well, I think that's one of the responsibilities of part 2. Obviously, if we're gonna walk into Rogue One, we have to deal with that. So there you go guys, k 2 in season 2. And even though we didn't get K2 in season 1, we did get KX droids nonetheless, foreshadowing his actual appearance. And so the final Andor article reveals when season 2 begins. As I said, there is going to be a time jump, but how much exactly? Well, the showrunner explains it in his interview with Collider. This is what he said. It'll be a year later after what you just saw. A great deal has happened in the interim. So there's going to be a lot of character developments behind the scenes, things that happened off screen. A whole year makes a huge difference in terms of Cassian's life, and maybe they could fill in that year with more comics, tie-in material, that kind of thing. The Gilroyverse, as I like to call it, doesn't just have to be on screen, there could be books, comics and visual guides. In other Andor news, Star Wars posted an inside look clip as they've been doing for every major character, but this time with Luthen Rail. We've really not seen much press with Stellan Skarsgård or Elizabeth Dulau, but in the clip, they do make a point of Luthen wanting to kill Cassian. That's only until episode 12 though, where the plot point is resolved. It seems as though Luthen is going to help Cassian join the rebel cause, and in the meantime, he's going to be an asset to him, as a mercenary or simply a rebel spy. Either way, he's realised Andor's talents, and to that point I think Marvel's speech really touched Luthen. He was there on Ferrex, of course. Now, Disney are really keeping their cards close to their chest in not revealing anything about Luthen. There's definitely more to his past and his backstory, and Tony Gilroy knows that. Whether Tony has a full plan for his backstory or not, or is in the process of doing that now ahead of season 2, is yet to be seen, but I can't wait for the answers we've all been craving. We'll definitely get them eventually. But like other first seasons, it's gonna take some time. Luthen's reveal might be the Grogu season 2 reveal from The Mandalorian, very similar in structure. We all theorise, we all speculate, and then bang, it's revealed. I'd love for a moment like that in season 2. But with that said guys, that brings us to the end of today's Star Wars news update. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and in the comments down below, let me know your thoughts of all this news, and also what your favourite episode of Andor Season 1 was. If you want more videos that you can't find here on YouTube, click the link down there in the description. But until the next one my dear friends, may the force be with you always.